That's a very good question. <clears throat> but you see, tonight, I am doing the asking. What? What did you do to my sister? Who are you talking about? Look, don't, don't answer my questions with questions. What did you do to my sister? How am I even talking to you? I said, what did you do to my sister? Are you stupid? Huh? What? What did you do to my sister? John, that's not talking. John! I'll, 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 I'll kill you here. What did you do to my sister? Is this how they play? Is this how I follow the play? What do you think? No, we're just about to step out. Of course, I am. <laughs> Thank you very much. I gotta go. <laughs> Bye. You're calling already. Maybe you really know this guy. How long is enough to know a guy before I start calling him? He's different. Why? Because he's a lonely mister. How much do these Nollywood people even make, by the way? I'm sure he's one of those gold diggers. Hey, come on, girl. Don't be quick to judge a book by the cover. Uh, Get to know him. OK, you know what I know? I know that a lot of ladies will be flocking around him. That is what I know. And might even be secretly married. Never can tell. When I get to that bridge, I will gladly cross it. I'm sure you know I'm capable of taking care of myself by myself. But let's go. Mm, my <laughs> lips are sealed. My lips are sealed. Come on, girl. Calling already. <laughs> Come right in. <laughs> oh, please come and sit here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're welcome to my humble home. <laughs> he called his humble. He mm -hmm. lived in the palace. You're teasing me. You're Stop serious. it. <laughs> <laughs> Hope I'm not too early. Not at all. Although I'm preparing something delish. Interesting. Just give me a moment. Okay. It's good to have you. <laughs> Thank you for the flowers. You're Beautiful. If no be go do, I for don't die you. Wallahi telai, na go do. Do am put wallahi Allah ni ayimu. If no be go do, I Musa. No. Musa. No. Hey. Oga pe mi. Ah, Oga don't come on since in the morning. He no tell you. No, he didn't. Hey. Well, like, like, Do you have any idea where he went to? Hey, oh, God, me, I won't take no where oh, God, he go. I don't know his movements. Me now to secure the gates. Now gates, now hear my... I know, I know, I know. Please, uh, I, I'm worried. I've been trying to reach him on the phone. His number has been unreachable. You know, you know, and it's very urgent, okay? When he gets back, tell him to call me immediately. 
Immediately, it's urgent. Immediately, okay? yeah. Immediately, I go tell him, I got you. Hey, why well, I got you go live in phone up? In we be celebrity, we be say people define and up and down. Me come act, eh? If no be go do, I like to lie. I go keep musai now. I enjoy the food. Funny you. No, it's very, very interesting how a high-profile lady like you would take out time to make such a delicious meal. I'm flattered. Really? <laughs> <laughs> mm. You know what? I've never really given love too much thought up until now. For real, so... It'll be my wife. Stop it. <laughs> I'm not joking. For real. I'm not mixing words. I just want to wake up with you in the morning, put the bed with you at night. No. No? Why? If you mean to propose to me, then you do that over a candlelight dinner, go on one knee, and propose to me formally. <laughs> As you wish, Your Majesty. I will sure do that. But for now, I got it wrong. Oh, All right? thank you so much. It was good having you around. I'll see you soon. All right. Please go safely. I will. It's a car ride, right? like, can't pass. <laughs> Love a boy. Uh, I'm sorry, are you a fan or something? So you have refused to let go of our sister, right? What? You dare tread on dangerous territories. Hey, sorry, sorry. I don't know who your sister is, for real. <laughs> is this Mikhail Guri show? Uh, for real, like guys, it. I don't I like know who your guys. sister is. Really? You got the wrong guy. He doesn't know what time it is. He should let me know. Come here. Hey. Come here. Oh, Listen to me. You want to say something? I don't know what you say is. Okay. okay. I, don't, I don't know. So why are we here? Huh? See, I, I, have, I have a lot of female fans and a lot of admirers. <laughs> For real? Is this... No, 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 no. no. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Superstar. He has a lot of female, female friends. friends. Love a boy. Love right? Boy. Now listen to me. Stay away from my sister. I don't know who your sister is. Tell him who my sister is. Juliet. Stay away from Juliet! Stay the hell away from Juliet! You bloody gold digger. Papa! She is not your type. You want your money, I be? Huh? She's not in her league. Out of your league. Stay away from her. I'll mess you up. Take this as a warning, and I'm not playing. It's gonna be the last time you won. Hey, hey, hey. Superstar. Get into your car. Get into your car! You think I'm playing with you? You think, you think I'm playing with you? You think I'm playing with you? That's what it is. Motherfuck! That's what it is. <laughs> Say that this guy is deceiving you. Huh? Isn't it obvious? It's so clear. Do you even know how many girls that this boy has kissed or smooched, both on screen and off screen? Is it not obvious that he's off your league? He's way out of your league. It's clear. I mean, as top brass in a corporate world, he's like a stain to you. And he's trying so hard, so hard to, 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 to rip where he did not sow. And do you reap from where you sow? Do you reap from where you sow? Answer me! Chief Justice in Love Affairs! Listen, I'm sounding this as a note of warning to all of you. 
Stay away from my personal life. You hear me? We're just looking out for you as your brothers. That's what we're supposed to do, right? Shove that down your guts. Rubbish. Where are you going? Well, I think we should go to the hospital to avoid this this wound getting infected. Tell me what I told you, no hospitals. I'm trying to get the meat out of my, my, my mother. No hospitals, I love my privacy. It wouldn't be bad to let them in on, on your pains. Femi, I love my privacy, I love my space. Because I'm trying to protect Julia from the media. Okay, okay. But seriously, I, I think you should end this, this madness, this thing with Juliet. She's bad news. It wasn't my fault. It was my brother's. Baby, I'm sorry I've not had the opportunity to introduce you to them. I'm so sorry. They called me gold digger. Who knows what lies I've been feeding them with? I... Please, I, I think you just have to leave right now. Can I at least make it up to you? I promise you, this would never happen again. Please, I'm so sorry. Please, my love. Joe, don't you think that was a bit too much? Think what? No, you tell me. Think what? Listen to me. We're trying to prevent her, protect her, rather, from making the gravest mistake by falling in love with that small poor boy. Mistake? She's mistake, small boy. She's a grown woman. Don't really? you think she knows what she wants? Really? <laughs> if you were so sure, then why come to us? I mean, you being the chief controller. Listen to me. Relax. Oh my God. I, I mean, oh my God. I, I know you feel guilty about snitching on her. And we're totally grateful for all of that. See, but the truth of the matter is, by the time we're done with him, I mean, when we're absolutely done with him, he will never, ever speak to her again or even go to anywhere near her. I think I need her. Chris, the, the, the problem I have with you is that you are damn too soft. Dad, let this girl bounce. All right? Her brothers almost killed you. It's her siblings, not her. What's the difference? They were fighting for her. Listen, bro, this girl is like every other girl you meet in the club. Chop and clean mouth. Very easy for you to say. Chop and clean mouth. I'm in love with this lady. <laughs> which kind? Which kind? Yeah, yeah, love with that one. Which kind? Mumu love. Or more, you, you need to you need to shine your eyes. Shall we? That. Open. Ah. Yes, it is. What's wrong with you? You know me. I come here always. Julius is my sister. I know you, madam. Um, Auntie, Auntie who's? Uh -huh. Eh, no. Uh -huh. um, madam just order me. See, I should not allow anybody to enter. <laughs> Even a late mother. And I let father. I should not allow them to enter. <laughs> Come on, that's bullshit. Uh -uh, Juliet will never do that. She's my best friend. Open the gates, Jay. Oh, Belle, oh. we are calling. I should call her. Call her. Okay. Oh, you really want me to call her? I don't want to open the gates. You know your job here is shaky. Very shaky. Hold on. I should call her. It's ringing. Just wait. Why is she not picking up? Madam, madam, I beg. Eh? I beg. I get with her the two inside before you come. I beg. I don't go inside.
No. <laughs> no, Juliet cannot die. <laughs> Juliet cannot die. Have I warned you to always be inform me before barging into my house? Hey, come on, sis. I live here too. And besides, I, I didn't mean to wake you. Anyway, I, I'm glad you can protect yourself. This is my privacy. I'm not going to warn you again. Okay, understood. Uh, so, how are you holding up? Anyway, that reminds me. Rose complained about you not taking her calls. Why? Rose? That small who will not mind her business. Always sticking her nose where it does not concern her. Um, and I hear you two are really getting along together, very cozy these days. Come right? On, sis. She's a friend. I mean, she's not a foe. Is it so hard for you to understand that she's only looking out for you? By reporting all of my activities to you? Who does she think she is? Your friend. I want nothing to do with her. She's not my friend. You're still in love with him, right? Come on, sis. We're your family and we're doing all of this to protect you. Protect me? From what exactly? Listen, Chris and I are in love. And just so to clear your foggy little brains, I made the first move. Well, that doesn't change the fact that he is a gold digger. And what makes it even worse is he's a small boy. You are a small boy. You're just a confused, self-centered little boy. And if you and your brother do not stay away from my path, I'll be forced to get a restraining order. What? Yes. And just so you know, Chris proposed to me before you two jumped him. And guess what? What? I said yes. So get ready to be his brother-in-law. No way. No way that's happening. No. Yes way that is working. If you love me as your sister, you will allow Chris and I build a family. I'm an adult. Lock my door and don't badge him next time. Rubbish. See, it's so unfortunate. It's so unfortunate that Get out of my house! Sis, why is it hard for you to realize or see the fact that that boy is a gold digger? He's good for nothing. And you are good for boy. nothing! Do you have a, a one of your own? Rubbish! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! What am I seeing? Femi, it's so good to see you once again. What are you doing around here? I came to pick up a script for Chris. Scripts? A new script? Yeah, a brand new story. Beautiful story. <laughs> are you okay? What is the storyline about? It's a love story. I mean, it's actually a love triangle. And if I am to guess, my husband is playing the lover boy as usual, right? Oh, come on, Juliet. I mean, what is wrong with you? I thought you guys have been through this before. This is work. Okay? It's, but, listen, it's just like waking up in the morning and going to work, going to your shop. You know? Your shop is your shop. You're alone in the shop. 
But in this case, I have hands frolicking all over my husband, and I do not want that. Juliet, listen. Now, take this from me, Femi. Chris is a decent and responsible man, and he loves you so much. That is not about to change. You have nothing to worry about, okay? Come on. Okay. I thought you would join me upstairs, but here you are all by yourself. Uh, I'm so sorry. I was trying to go through my screw to my next job. Pretty interesting though. The writer knows this thing. What's the story about? It's a love story. Kind of a love triangle. Let me guess. You are the lover boy in the love triangle, right? <sighs> Come on, honey. <laughs> talked about this. I, this. This is not real. Okay? It's just like going to the shop. It's just work. Except that there's probably going to be another girl running her fingers all over you and the kisses. Stop. You sound like I'm running away. It's my love. I have to try to love any other person, okay? Alright? We talked about this, huh? <laughs> that was a lot. That was a lot. The whole internet is in disarray because of the story. What was I supposed to do? I saw my man kissing another woman. And he was obviously enjoying it. He had the guts to kiss her just the way he does to me. That was not a movie scene. Juliet. That was not a movie scene. That was a movie scene. Even though you're refusing to believe it. What did I just do? Do you think I embarrassed him? Oh, yes. Yes, you did. <sighs> what am I supposed to do now? What do I do? Let me stop. You do what every housewife would do in this position. Apologize. Did you even see the way he looked at me? I want this head to open right now and swallow me disgracefully. Why didn't you try to stop me? Eh, 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 eh. When did we start shifting blames? Please, you did what you did on your own. I did not push you to do anything. Let me start going home. Oh, I'm not blaming you. I saw my man kiss. Why would they be kissing like that? Why? Why? Did With you? so much passion. Just I saw apologize. it. You saw it. Just apologize. And to apologize to me, go and make something for me to eat. Do you realize I'm having emotional issues right now? Uh-uh. I did not say you to have emotional issues. I should be you are overreacting. Go and cook for me to eat, Jerry. It was really late. Um, sweetheart, I'm sorry about what happened earlier. Jealousy took a hold of me. This is why I'm not very comfortable with, with your job. I mean, with women, Crawling over you 
all the time. Did you even see how annoying that was? Baby, it's the job. It's the job. Listen, babe. This is what I do. This is what I do to earn a living. In fact, this is how we even met, how we became close. You of all people should understand. I don't understand the part where another woman is kissing my husband right in front of me. You didn't even make an effort to resist. I felt really bad. What was I supposed to do, babe? What do you have me do? Quit? Yes. Really? My love. You can start any other form of business. You can do consulting for the film people, or even be the executive producer. Don't just be the actor, please. Babe, it's really easy for you to say. Acting is what I do. It's what I love. It's my passion. It's what makes me happy. I, I can set you up with finance. Just tell me how much it will cost. It's better off. I mean, look at you, standing all day in the sun, one director screaming at you, action, keep it there. I was, how do you even say it? We can start our life all over our world, all to ourselves. Please, my love, please. Sir. Yeah, afternoon, my friend. Uh, I'm here to see Chris. Chris? Who be Chris? I don't understand. Chris, the owner of the house. Uh, nobody they bear that name here. I beg your pardon. Chris OKK and his wife live here. And you're telling me nobody bears that. I don't, I don't get you. Okay. My friend, listen. Don't you ever pull that joke on me, okay? Chris and I have been friends from way back. All right? It's just that I've not been coming around for some time now. And your face, your face is, is quite new here. I don't, I don't think I've seen you before. Yes, sir. I'm new here. Ogami, those people where you they talk about, they are no longer stay here. I don't, I don't get you. How, how do you mean? That person where they stay here, don't pack come out six, six months ago. Now, now one allergy, now you buy that house. No, no, no. You mean Chris no longer lives here? No, sir. He don't pack come out. Now one allergy buy this house now. Now he, he can't employ me as his gate man. Are you serious? Ah, now my only serious so now I take give you so.
trust me bro it's not what you think you know i quit to start private business and all that but i'm planning to come back sure even though nothing serious just behind the screen to be fine for the time being right yep that'll be fine that'll be fine i'll start the date and time i'll be there mm. all right my guy <laughs> And who was that you were talking to? None of your business. Tell your brothers to leave me alone! Then live up to your responsibilities! What responsibilities? What? I was making money for myself! I gave you the same money! So you owe me gratitude! Why are you so full of yourself? Eh? Not enough, you made me derail for my career. And now you want me to bow to you! What stupid career are you talking about? The one that could barely put food on your table? I was making money! I was! Now listen, and listen clearly. If your brothers don't back off, I'll be forced to use the police. You would do no such thing. Oh, you watch me do it. Double dare me, Chris! Are you for real? Wow. Chris! Hi. Hi. Hello. Child. Huh? Where's my wife and child? Look at you. You've grown so bored as to showing up here. Banging on my gate. Listen, if you know what is good for you, you will go in there and bring my wife and child out here now. Listen to me. I'll be the last person to admit you into this house. Just look at you. You know, I still can't figure out what my sister saw in you. A proper, a nobody. It's even low life face, whatever it is they call you. But guess what? You will never, ever get to set your eyes on her again. Jude. Jude. I promise you that. Jude.
my God. Chris. Oh, Chris, come on, stand up. Chris, what's going on? What is this? Chris, wake up. Your sister is here. Oh, Chris. Chris, Chris. Come on, your sister is here. Come on, what are you doing to yourself? What are you doing to yourself, Chris? Eh? <laughs> Chris, come on. You took my child. You took my baby. She left. I can't even see her. I can't even see her. It's okay, calm down. Calm down, okay? Her brother's made my life a living hell. I should have reported them to the police. She's my baby. It's okay. Come on, come on, Chris. It's okay, stop crying. You need to get yourself cleaned up, okay? Don't worry, I'm going to take you to the hospital. Oh, Chris. Oh, oh my God. Oh. What are you writing? Is this what is written here? Ah, uh, uh. <laughs> ah! Oh my God, she's so tall. Almost as tall as I am. <laughs> Babes, yeah? do you know this small boy is beginning to get on my very last nerves? Imagine this ungrateful thing. Now I believe the saying that no matter how much you wash a pig, it can never change. It can never be clean. Um, Mel, just go and do your homework in your room, okay? I'll call you later when I'm about to leave. Oh, big girl! <laughs> Juliet, how will you talk about your husband like that, especially in front of your kids? Do I look like I care? Oh, please. Juliet. Honestly, you know, I'm really surprised. I'm surprised at the way you're behaving. I'm surprised at how much you've changed. Juliet, this is your home. All this, it's yours. And if you don't fix it, nobody's going to fix it for you. What is there to fix? I have done everything humanly possible in this marriage. What else do you expect of me? I'm tired. And please, is this why you came here today? I invited you as my friend so we could gist and talk about... Oh, oh, on what side are you? Uh, oh. Really, Juliet? Really? You're asking me whose side I'm on? You know what? Please, if we don't have anything better to talk about, just... <laughs> Juliet, you're being serious. That's a very good question. <clears throat> but you see tonight, I am doing the asking. What? What did you do to my sister? Who are you talking about? Look, don't, don't answer my questions with questions. What did you do to my sister? I am I talking to you? I said what did you do to my sister? Are you stupid? Huh? What? <laughs> <laughs> What did you do to my sister? Don't! Now start talking! Don't! I'll, 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 I'll kill you here! What did you do to my sister? Is this how they play? 
Mais c'est ça, il faut lui déplaire. Lost. You were brought in here unconscious. Same you have a blue on your head, which caused some um, laceration on your skull. Lucky to miss your brain. So what am I what am I supposed to do now? Surgery. Well, what? Yeah, you need to be operated to avoid uh, having a seizure in the future. What's up? It's okay, it's okay. Easy, easy. Doctor, Doctor, what's going on? Madam, hmm? this patient has a child, right? Of course, but why do you ask? Oh, I see. We have tried so many diagnoses, he's not responding. He kept calling out for her. Oh. He's in critical condition and needs a surgery. Well, I totally understand. But apart from that, is there anything else? Well, nothing else for now. I will see what we can do. Please do. Please try. Thank you so much. Ah. Oh. Hmm. Please speak up. I can I can barely hear you. Chris, Chris, oh my goodness, Chris, Chris, where have you been uh, uh, all these years? Which which hospital? Clinton Hospital. Okay, okay. I'll I'll, I'll see you. I'll see you. Chris called you. Chris O'KK, my friend, the movie star. Huh? Babe, after all these years. He finally called. Chris? I don't understand. Wait. Are you sure you're not being scammed? Because. You know, someone might be posing as him. Or... No, 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 no. How? I, 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 I recognize this voice. Babe, I understand, but don't you think someone might be posing as him? Because, Chris, how? Baby, he, he's, he's in the hospital. What's he doing there? He's dying. Dying. shameless sister. Eh? I hope you all got what you wanted. Listen to me, madam. I'm going to warn you for the last time. Or rather, I'm warning you for the last time. Leave this minute. Else. Or else what? Nonsense. Haven't you done enough? Just because he has no one to stand up for him. Where's that your shameless sister? Let her come out and prove me wrong. I don't even have your time. I'm here. Mm -hmm. Oh! I thought you said she's in her home. I wonder how many times that was told to my brother, who unfortunately entangled himself with a person like you. No, I won't have you insult me, auntie. Because you know nothing about what I went through in my home. Oh, sorry to bust your bubble. I know. I get daily reports. 
of your daily harassment and accusation. The constant torture my brother had to go through. All because of you. Because he married an unfortunate and a terrible person like you. Do you know the level of sacrifice I made just to make my family work? You lie! You sacrifice nothing. My brother sacrificed his entire career for you, for your self-centeredness. Because you wanted control, you pressured him into giving up his acting career, his first love, even at that. You were never satisfied! I did no such thing! I helped him instead. I'm innocent! No, you're not. Old. You are not innocent. You took away his daughter and denied him access to her. He'll be undergoing surgery. Yes! He's undergoing surgery. The least you can do is to allow him to see that little child and hold him. At least that will lift up his spirit. His less family. Don't listen to her. She just, she, she, she's such a loser. Madam, calm down, calm down. We couldn't go through with it. Eh? Yeah. What? Why? Easy. We noticed that the blood pressure was a bit high. Hey! And could pose a risk. And we decided to step it down for a bit before proceeding. So we continue tomorrow. Oh. Excuse oh. me. Oh. Chris, why? Not even a phone call. You ghosted all of us. Why? What exactly did I do to you? With every passing minute, I can feel life leaving my body. Your good friend about to die. Do I, do I call the doctor? Oh, no, no. I, I can manage. I knew you want answers after all these years. I mean, my wife, she gave me money to start up a private business. That's how I... Chris, I... I warned you like I knew this was going to happen. You left your first love and threw all your Nollywood friends away. We could have been there for you. Femi, you can't blame me. You can't blame me. It was like an offer I, I cannot refuse. She, she carried all those dangling on my face. And look at where it has landed you. <laughs> let, 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 let me get you some water. No, no. I just came out from surgery. Maybe I just want to see my daughter. If I can just hug her only one time, hear her call me daddy. Where, where, where can I find her? Oh my, what happened to Juliet? How come she, has, she, she turned so bad? Jeremy, you need to find her. Please. Please. Hello? Babe. I've been worried about you. How is he? I could not believe my eyes when I saw him. He was looking so feeble. Almighty Chris has become a shadow of himself. Oh my God. This is, what can we do for him? Like, is there a way we can fly him abroad for treatment? Honestly, babe, I wish that was an 
option. I mean, he's in a very bad condition right now. And, and he kept asking to see his daughter. This is so sad. God. I'll be damned. Babe, let me call you back. No, I'll call you back, okay? Oh, uh, but... Hello? Babe? Juliet. I was told he is here. Please, can I see him? Can I see my husband? What is he doing? Where is Melissa? Um, she, I... Auntie? What is he doing? Where is my husband? Why are you asking me? Am I the doctor? A queen soon. Yeah, doctor, doctor. Doctor, how is please he? talk to me. Where is my brother? I'm the only sister. Please talk to me. What's going on? Doctor, please, can I see my husband? Please, I'm the wife. Listen, you all have to take heart. We tried all we could. Hey! But we lost him. I need you to understand something. He's in a better place. Where there will be no more sorrow, no mourning, no tears. And I hope one day we will meet to part no more. I need you to be strong. Please. I beg you. I'll go fix you breakfast. again. Please. How long? How long are you going to continue being like this? Please. Eh? At least you had a chance to say goodbye to him. 
babe, have you thought about his daughter? Have you thought about how she's feeling? Have you thought about the trauma she's going through? Not being even lucky to say goodbye to her dad. He died heartbroken. She destroyed him. See, babe, I had a chance to save him. I had a chance to stop all this. I, I tried. I tried. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Enough already. Get hold of yourself. Eh? See, faith is what you make of it. And oh. I came here because the gate man told me there's someone outside looking for you. I don't want to see anyone. I'm not in the mood to see anyone. I understand. It's fine. Okay? I don't want to come back here and see you this way. Please. It's alright, it's alright. Who, who, who did you say wants to see me? Uh, I, I don't know. He didn't mention any name. We need to talk. Uh, please. Femi, I am so sorry. Okay, I was only trying to protect my friend. You won't understand. I'm sure you would have done the same too if you were my shoes. Chris was not just a friend to me. He was like a kid brother. He was the most decent and responsible guy I ever knew. I understand this Casanova impression, this stigma comes with the territory. But Chris was a good guy, all right? His only crime was loving your friend. And it's so painful that we are talking about him now in the past tense. Femi, I am honestly deeply sorry. I never meant to mislead her. I just, I just didn't want her to go through what I went through in the hands of my ex who was an actor. Everyone is not the same, okay? We have good and bad people everywhere, not just in the entertainment industry. What we do is make believe. And no matter how good we are at it, it should never be taken as a true reflection of who we are. Well, um, the police is currently carrying out a very thorough investigation into the real cause of his death. All right? And I want to assure you that the law will catch up with everyone responsible. All right? I just pray that you're not one of them. Go forbid. I, I have no hand in it. I am my friend. Our, our hands are clean. <laughs> Rose, if I were you, I'll only vouch for myself. Have a wonderful day. Juliet, I'm so sorry. 
okay. I, I, was, I was only trying to protect you. You know how these entertainment people are. She, she's married today, divorced tomorrow. She's... You were protecting yourself. You were all about your selfish interests. You and my brothers didn't want anyone to get close to me. You thought Chris was taking me away from you all. No. Okay, no, no, that's, that's not it at all. No. I love you. I love you so much. I, I've known you for a very long time and you know me. I just, I just wanted to protect you. I thought it was one of these entertainment people. Okay. You, you know what I went through in the end of the day now? I stopped to love any man. And I swore to myself, I swore that I would never let anybody I love go through what I went through. I'm only just realizing now that Chris is different. After he's gone, I begged you that he was different. I'm sorry. But you wouldn't listen to me. You all made me hate a good man. I'm sorry. You made me hate my husband. I'm sorry. For being such a kind soul. Where do I start? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Hello. It's for you. Hello? Please, dear sister, I am really sorry. I know I've sinned against humanity. Please forgive me. If you ever talk to me again, I will get you arrested for the murder of my husband. No need for that. The police are already after me. Emeka has been arrested and I want to keep myself in. But I want you to please forgive me. Even if I, I die in prison, I just want to know that you've forgiven me. Forgiven you? You want me to forgive you? Where do I start? Have you seen the social media of late? It's just a matter of time and someone would dig out my picture and then what? I'm sorry, sis. I do not want to have anything to do with all of you. Stay clear my path. I keep sounding it. Stay away from me. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. <laughs> You have to take heart. You can't continue like this all day. Your friend here has told me everything. You don't have to blame yourself. Please. God has a reason for everything. He's the one that gives it and he's the one that takes it. Just remember that one day we all will die and leave our legacies behind. They remember us. And that is a fact. Our brother Chris, he has found peace with the Lord. And that reminds me the fact that one day we are going to meet before the Lord. Our maker. <coughs> so please try and console yourself. Try and pull yourself together. Okay. Okay? Please stop doing this to yourself. And um, if I may ask, has the burial been fixed? I don't know. They will not let me see my husband's corpse. I don't even know the mortuary is being kept. I know nothing about my husband's corpse. Yes, Pastor. Um, that's why I was hoping you would assist us, you know, with the corpse. Even his friend does not even want to see us. Okay. Um, I would like to talk to this friend of his. 
Do you have his number so I can call him? Yes, yes. Okay, please, let me have it. <laughs> his name is Femi. contributed to your death. Please forgive me. Hold on, I'm coming. Hey, handsome. Flowers, please come right in. <laughs> oh, please come and sit here. Mm -hmm. You're yeah, welcome to my humble home. <laughs> he called his humble. You mm -hmm. live in a palace. You're teasing me. I'm Stop serious. it. <laughs> <laughs> Hope I'm not too early. Not at all. Although I'm preparing something delish. Interesting. Just give me a moment. Okay. It's good to have you. <laughs> Thank you for the flowers. You're welcome. Beautiful. Mm. I'm flattered. Really? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I've never really given love too much thought up until now. For real, so will you be my wife? Stop it. <laughs> I'm not joking. For real. I'm not mixing words. I just want to wake up with you in the morning, go to bed with you at night. No. No? Why? If you mean to propose to me, then you do that over a candlelight dinner, go on one knee, and propose to me formally. <laughs> As you wish, Your Majesty. I will sure do that. But for now, I got it wrong. Okay. I thought you would join me upstairs, but here you are all by yourself. Uh, I'm so sorry. I was trying to go through my screw to my next job. Pretty interesting though. The writer knows this thing. What's the story about? It's a love story. Kind of a love triangle. Let me guess. You are the lover boy in the love triangle, right? <sighs> Come on, honey. We've, we've, we've talked about this, right? Mm. This, this is not real, okay? It's just like going to the shop. It's just work. Except that there's probably going to be another girl running her fingers all over you and the kisses. Stop. You sound like I'm running away. You know it's my love. I have no plan to love any other person, okay? All right. We talked about this, huh? <laughs> I waited for you all evening. 
Yeah, we we close really late. Um, sweethearts, I'm sorry about what happened earlier. Jealousy took a hold of me. <laughs> this is why I'm not very comfortable with, with your job. I mean, with women crawling over you all the time. Did you even see how annoying that was? She missed a job. It's the job. Listen, babe. This is what I do. This is what I do to earn a living. In fact, this is how we even met, how we became close. You of all people should understand. I don't understand the part where another woman is kissing my husband right in front of me. You didn't even make an effort to resist. I felt really bad. What was I supposed to do, babe? What do you have me do? Quit? Yes. Really? My love. You can start any other form of business. You can do consulting for the film people, or even be the executive producer. Don't just be the actor, please. Okay, it's really easy for you to say. Acting is what I do. It's what I love, it's my passion. It's what makes me happy. I, I can set you up with finance. Just tell me how much it will cost. It's better off. I mean, look at you, standing all day in the sun, one director screaming at you, action, keep it there. I, how do you even say it? We can start our life all over our world, all to ourselves. Please, my love, please. I wish to be with you again in my next life. You're not getting arrested. Not today. Not ever. You will get another chance to correct your mistakes when you see your husband. What are you talking about? How do I see the dead? How do I see the dead? Sister Juliet, your husband is alive. 
Are you here to mock me? Are you here to mock me? Why will I want to mock you? Your husband is alive. Oh my god, Janet. Oh my god, Janet. Oh my god, Janet. Oh my god, my husband is alive. Please, please. Janet is alive. Please. Please, please. He's alive. Oh my god. Well, I'm hurting. You see, what you see on screen is art. It is called make believe. Playing a bad guy so well in a movie doesn't make the actor a bad guy. It means that he's good at what he does. So please, I beg you, stop stigmatizing or judging actors by the roles they play. They are just working, just like the salesman, the banker, the, the, the architect, the lawyer, the surgeon, and your television is their theater. I, I, I believe, I believe now. Please, can you take me to my husband? Where, where is he? Can I see my husband, please? Yeah. I need to see him. I'll take you to him. You can't wait to see him again. So please, let's go. 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 Let's go.